Hi everyone, welcome to the Progressive Air Workshop. I'm Johnny Torres. Joining me today is Tom. How you doing, Tom? How you doing, Johnny? Hey, thanks for being here. We're going to talk about when your AC unit freezes up. And we're talking both literally, figuratively, right? In every sense wow. of the word. Uh, what, you know, for people to kind of get an understanding of whether or not this is what they're dealing with, what are some of the symptoms that you'd feel around the house and uh, to determine whether or not your, your AC unit's frozen up? Okay, Johnny, what you have is you have an outdoor unit outside the house, mm -hmm. and then you have your indoor unit, which is your air handle generally in a closet or up in an attic, and then you have your ductwork that's attached uh, to your air handler. A lot of times, if your unit throws up, you won't feel any air blowing. You don't feel any air blowing at all. Right. And, uh, and sometimes when you open up the door, you feel this burst of cold air coming out of the closet. And yeah. then you look and you see it looks like a snowball. Because that's exactly what it is. It's it's frozen. Sure, like, they, like it's ice. literally right. It's developed a, a, a kind of an ice block there on the unit. Correct. And you walk out to your your unit outside, and you look down, and there's another block of ice out there. Right. And then, but it's still running, right? It's still absolutely okay. running. Yeah. And so, uh, what causes that? What what brings the unit to do that? Uh, a couple things that that can cause that to happen, or one of the simplest things is your air filter. Mm -hmm. Is a lot of times people for thing they forget the most is to check or change your filter right and i say the easiest way to remember to check or change your filter is every time you get your electricity bill you check or change it and if you don't your next electricity bill will be higher now tom you actually brought us some air filters to look at so we get an idea of exactly a good filter versus a bad filter and when it needs to go uh what what would you bring with uh okay. i brought two filters with me okay this all right there's a new filter you can see how it's how it's white Right, transparent, the light's transparent. getting through, you know, uh, there's obviously you can tell it's, it's very clean. Yeah. And then we have a dirty filter. Right, well you can see there's a gray tinge to it, right? Correct. And like you said, if you kind of clap it, even just now, when you put it up on the table, I mean a little dust kind of came up and, and so is, is that a good indicator of needing to replace it? That, that is correct. And you know, a lot of times a good, good thing to get in the habit of is dating the filters okay. when you put them in. So sometimes you don't remember. Uh, do it. And that's so you stick to the 90-day rule? Uh, stick to the 90-day rule or sooner, depending on the environment that you're in. Well, and, you know, the standard is, you know, about every 90 days or so. But still, I mean, it, it, depending on, obviously, how much, depending uh, on how many people are coming and going and obviously the time of year and that sort of thing, you might want to check them on a more regular basis, uh, right? Correct. As, as I always recommend, 30 days because you have 30-day filters, 90-day filters, and how, homes that have pets and have a lot of children running in generally is 30 days you need to pull that filter out and, and put a new one in because it will cost you more money if you don't. Yeah, so exactly what is happening? I mean, we're talking about uh, the airflow that goes through the filter, right? And so what is it that causes that system to freeze up like that? It is what happens is in order to, to put air out, you have to take air in. Okay. So, so when your filter gets dirty, the air is coming through really slow. So your refrigerant that's coming from your outdoor to your indoor it is because you're not moving the air, mm -hmm. it turns it really cold because you have to blow the air across it. Sure. And, you know, if you're not blowing the air, it's, it's just going to turn into a, a big block of ice. Good, I like that. And so what are some of the things they can do in this kind of a situation? You've got this ice block on your unit there. Uh, what are some of the first steps they should take? Uh, first thing they should do is automatically go to your thermostat. You turn that thermostat to the off position. Okay. Because you have your cool, your off, your heat. You turn it to the off position. Mm -hmm. You can turn, there's another switch that has your fan. You can turn the fan to the on position. That helps thaw your unit out. Okay, so you definitely want to keep the fan on, but the unit you want to turn that uh, off. Correct. Okay. Uh, because it helps thaw it out faster. And then, you know, one thing to keep in mind while it's thawing out, periodically go look at your, your air handler if it's in a closet, mm -hmm. because it will start melting and you will have a lot of water. So you want to have something there to catch all that water, uh, right? Correct. And you want to make sure that, that you have a towel handy or whatever, because I've seen it times where there's a massive amount of water and their air handlers in a closet on the second floor and then all of a sudden <laughs> you know, there's water coming through. Well, and you've got a melting ice block there, right? Exactly. And so you want to make sure that all that water is going to go somewhere and preferably not on your hardwood floor. Exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, once it's, once it's thawed out, uh, you know, give us a call and we'll come, Progressive Air System will come and check it out, make sure it's nothing more than just a dirty filter. Okay. Because there are other things that can cause the issue. A unit could be low on refrigerant. 
Okay, so before they even cut it back on or anything, make sure that they call Progressive Air. You guys are gonna come out and do an assessment of that unit and give them an idea of really what the issue might have been. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, because it, and we were referring to the air handler that has a blower in it, and that blower could not be working. Yeah. Okay, in storms, it's because of technology today, everything is so sophisticated and that is storms can affect the newer systems, cause the motor not to, not to work at all. Yeah. All right. Well, Tom, thank you so much for sharing that information. Thank you. thank you for having me. Appreciate you for being here. So remember to change out those filters on a regular basis. And also remember, anywhere in Tampa Bay, the name you want to remember is Progressive Air Systems. They're the largest carrier factory authorized dealer on the west coast of Florida. All you got to do is visit ProgressiveAirSystems.com for more information or call 855-847-3898.